Yeah, no, it was a great visit to Kami's Kroon. I'm very happy I saw the crown and the town. <laughs> If you look at our map, you'll see we've just left Kamis Kroon and we are heading to Subatsfontein. Uh, I chose this route because there's a pass on it, a gravel road pass, which I'd like to try and do. It's called Kilian's Pass. And then also when we get to Subatsfontein, see if we can get into the Namakwa National Park and see what that looks like. So this is our turn off. Subatsfontein? <laughs> Gravel Road. Please be nice to us. <laughs> So here was another one of those ginormous boulders that we saw everywhere. And you were blown away by the size of the homestead compared to this large rock. Do you remember? Crazy. And those little pieces, they look like little pieces, but look at this. Those things are enormous. And they're bigger than the car. Now I can just imagine them sliding down, the noise they make. One just has to stay out of their way. It's crazy. Well, luckily that didn't happen the day we were there. Fortunately. Something tells me they have this problem quite regularly. People taking a shortcut to the Namakwa National Park through their private property. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt! <laughs> So on the map it says Kilian's Pass and this says Grootvlei Pass. That's Quite a big difference, right? Big difference in the name, okay.
bit of corrugation. Who knew we'd encounter such bad roads here, eh? Oh. Okay, so here it is, Kilian's Pass. So I wasn't going crazy. You happy now? Yeah, very happy. <laughs> <laughs> you can still read a map. So there's two passes here, yeah, Grootvlei and road. Kilian. Yeah. yeah, that's fantastic. And there's a whole lot of boom. So we came down the first place and we're going up Kilian. I like the snaking of Kilian. Yep. Not a single one. There's a What's that? buck running up the side of the pass there. I don't know what antelope that is. Two of them. Clip springers. Clip springer keys. Really? Yes, look there. Motoring up the side of the hill. When last have I seen a clip springer? Karoo National Park, I think. Oh, they're out of view. Yeah. Oh, that was neat. That's nice timing. Yeah. Huh? So where there are two, there must be more. Exactly. This must be like right up the alley, this vibe. Eh? Sure. There are certainly enough clipper. That's for sure. <laughs> Toes, yeah, they? it's as if they're standing on high hills. That's why they can grip on the rock with those little pointy hooves of it. Now that's very interesting, that they weigh down those droppers with rocks so that they 
can't be lifted. The fence can't be lifted up and something crawl through underneath. So I presume this is Subats Fontaine. It must be. It's virtually the only boards we saw. Yeah, and I still haven't seen anything about the National Park. How is that possible though? Oh, don't get it. Subats Fontaine. They have two big boulders in the garden. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Yeah, we are approaching this yellow building and there was some map on this board here showing directions to the Namakwa National Park. Yeah, you wanted to make sure where to turn. Yes, and there it showed us that we turned to the right to get to the Namakwa National Park. Now, as we were leaving here, you can see I paused again. Just to make a hundred percent sure I know what the map was saying. <laughs> oh, and then we saw these rope access guys on the cell phone tower. Yeah, that was quite interesting. They, they apparently they just put up the cell phone tower, and they were just painting it now. Yeah, that was quite cool to see. Yeah, it was. We were turning off here to go to the Namakwa National Park and here we still thought that Skilpat was another national park. But we learned later that Skilpat Wildflower Reserve forms part of the Namakwa National Park. Oh, that was interesting because I noticed that on the map too. So I didn't know if, which one it was, but now I'm glad that we've clarified that. Uh, here we come to the uh, Kamisberg Municipality and then also this amazing guest house, the Subatsfontein guest house. And then I thought it looked like a church and as we drove away I saw the cornerstone and then when I mentioned it to you, you had to go back and yeah, check it out. couldn't resist. <laughs> so what's interesting about this guest lodge, it used to be some church because that cornerstone says in honor of God and it was late in 1946. Okay. Yeah, it definitely looks like a church. Yeah. Well, at least it hasn't been abandoned, eh? So there's... Yeah, they repurposed it. Yes. There's the Wendy house. Yeah. Boys only. Welcome to Namakwa National Park, but it's closed. You've got to go to reception, which is 27 kilometers away. And yeah, it says 4x4s four four only. Oh, yeah, okay. Now I see that. I'm just trying to figure out. So one opens the gate, closes, and then you drive to reception. Yes. All right. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to open this gate 
go in as far as what I can and then come back. See what we can see. All right. A different setup, eh? A different setup at oh, a national yes. park? Yeah, definitely. So here we are in the Namakwa National Park. We made it. So they say this road is actually just for four-wheel drive. But I'm going to just go as far as what we can. And then if we can't go very much further, then turn around and come back. Actually, I think we're just going to go a few kilometers. Yeah. The last thing we want is to go 26 kilometers. And then we say, uh, okay. Now we're going to come back. We're going to see if we can spot some animals. This must be quite pretty in flower season, hey? I can imagine. I see they tell people not to step on the flowers. So there must be antelope and small game and stuff here. Yeah. Unmarked speed bumps. I read the in Kami Screen they say that in 2002 they started restocking the park because um, all the game was shot out in the previous century. They started, or they started stocking the park okay. in 2002. And all I can remember now is Oryx. I can't remember any other species. But it wasn't a very long list. So I suppose it's a work in progress. Yeah. I would love to know how many visitors they get. Yeah, I'm that not would be interesting. A lot. You can see the roads are, s are quite sandy. Yeah. So at this point, uh, we noticed that the sand started getting very thick on the road and we decided, no, we're going to turn around. Yeah, we don't take chances, especially not in such a remote area. Sandy, eh? Yeah. Very much so. But here, not as bad yet as there where you turned around. Yeah. We just come out of the Namakwa National Park over here. And then we saw a building that we both wanted to go and check out. Yeah. So we turned down here and we chatted to this very interesting looking couple on the side of the road for a few seconds. Yeah, and they didn't want to speak back to us. <laughs> no. As we approached this building, we were hoping that it was still a functional place. But it became very obvious as we got closer that nothing was happening here. Oh, it looked completely abandoned. Yeah. And we knew it must have been old when we saw this fantastic stonework on the side. But little did we know 
Now, as we came around this bend and we looked at the front of the building, telling you, mind blowing. Absolutely gorgeous. I get the school vibe here. Wow. Some community center, I think. I wonder what this was. Tiled floors. <laughs> oh, this is a bathroom. And these floors have been systematically been removed. What fascinates me is that there's a prepaid electrical box here and it's still got some units on it. Seriously, what was this place? I would love to know what this was. So would I. First person I see, I'm going to ask. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, we can go out here. Yes. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> the kids shout bye bye. <laughs> they were playing here. Yeah. So they ran away when we came. I think we'll find out over there by those people what this was. Let's. So this is the municipal office as we saw just now. guest house that was the church? That's reformed church, eh? Oh, we chatted to Andres. Yes. Um, he's been living here for 54 years. Yeah. So he, he knows. says that was the school hostel. Yes. And it was built in 1927. Crazy. And then next door was the school. Yes, which is still in operation. Yeah. Functional. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> to 80 houses? I would say around about there, yeah. Similar, eh? Yeah. So remote. Yeah. And doesn't he speak the most beautiful Afrikaans? Such pure Afrikaans. Pure Afrikaans. <laughs> the washing line on the left. Yes. It's quite interesting. Do you think the overalls match the house or vice versa? I think the house matches the overalls. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say it. Look at Look this, at this little structure. place. Yeah. I was really happy to see that they were working on the infrastructure here, laying new water pipes in a small settlement like this.
Subots Fontaine was definitely another revelation. Indeed. I agree with you 100%.